friends uh, myself suresh kumar thakur and today the topic which we are discussing that is the cyberspace uh, the we'll discuss in this lecture the meaning of cyberspace the origin of cyberspace then the relation between cyberspace and physical space some of the unique qualities of cyberspace and then finally we'll discuss the difference between cyberspace and physical space now let's begin with the meaning of cyberspace now the cyberspace it is the dynamic and the virtual space which is created by the machines or uh, in other words we say that this is that space which is created by the computers or the computer networks and the like gadgets the electronic gadgets which are having the uh, qualities of the computers and which are connected by way of the internet now this is something which which we uh, the cyberspace and the internet which we are using nowadays in our day to day life or cyberspace ek is yahi space hai jo ki uh, machines ke through jo hai wo connected hain now there are millions or the billions of computer these days or the your electronic gadgets like your mobile phones on which you are using the internet they are connected by way of a network on the internet uh, on, on the virtual platform so the space which is created by these machines by these computers by these uh, electronic gadgets like your smartphones that space is known as the cyberspace now the cyberspace now it it exists uh, in the in the um, in the platform of the zero or one uh, this is the unique quality of this kind of space as you may know that whenever you are using your uh, computers or the uh, smartphones like that whenever you are typing certain things on your on your computer screen suppose you are writing the name of a person now you write the name of that person your computer that goes through the processing mechanism and then it gives you the output what what you desire is what you instruct to the computer now wahi ye space hai aur wahi ye uh, uh, environment hai jo ki cyberspace generate karta hai jis pe isko hum cyberspace bolte hain so all this cyber space actually it exists in the form of zero and one jo pura ka pura space hai ye zero aur one ke jo uh, numeric values hai inke andar hi ye exist karta hai then comes the origin of the cyberspace now the cyberspace it was uh, not just very not of very ancient origin bahut purana nahi hai cyberspace ki jab hum baat karte hain ya internet ki jab hum baat karte hain so uh, it is just the you know three or four decade back that this uh, this particular word it was used for the first time and william gibson was the person in 1984 he used the cyberspace for the first first time uh, in his book necromancer uh, this book ko jab unhone publish kiya to first time cyberspace is word ko unhone is book mein use kiya tha and uh he uh, introduced this uh, cyberspace as a space which is created by those machines which are connected by way of a network ki ek aisa space hai jo kuch ek machines jo hai wo network ke sath jo connected hai wo us space ko originate karti hai ye uh, william gibson ne space ko introduce kiya now when the cyberspace it was used by the uh, by william gibson like that now it is at that time that this word it catches the eyes of many persons and uh, uh, in, uh, even the oxford dictionary it describes or it uh, uh, you know it defines the word cyberspace for the first time in 1986 jab isko william gibson ne use kiya usi ka result tha ki isko first time define kiya gaya oxford dictionary mein bhi and oxford dictionary it defines the cyberspace as as that notional environment in which the people communicates over computer networks 
now this is the meaning of the of the of, about the origin of the cyberspace and then comes the uh, next one the relation between cyberspace and uh, physical space so cyberspace or physical space ek baat aap yaad rakhein ki ye dono jo uh, space hain ek dusre se bahut had tak differ karenge aur karte hain pehli baat to ye ki uh, uh, dono ka jo sphere hai cyber space and the physical space it is uh, different from each other and uh, it is not uh, you know necessarily the laws of the physical world it do not apply on the cyber world साइबर वर्ल्ड में और जो वर्चुअल वर्ल्ड है साइबर स्पेस हम जिसको बोलते हैं या इंटरनेट स्पेस हम जिसको बोलते हैं उनके दोनों के जो लॉज हैं वो वेरी करेंगे डिफर करेंगे एक दूसरे से एंड यू कैन नॉट अप्लाई द लॉ वन प्लेस ऑन द अदर स्पेस टू अ लार्ज एक्सटेंट ऑल दो इट मे हैपन कि कहीं पे ये अप्लाई कर रहे हैं लेकिन बहुत हद तक एक दूसरे से डिफर करेंगे एंड the cyberspace uh, it basically refers uh, to the internet space so these both these kinds of spaces cyberspace or internet space ko ek dusre ki jagah pe use kiya jata hai in the modern world and then the cyberspace it exists but in the virtual mode now iska matlab kya hai ki cyberspace exist to karta hai lekin ek virtual mode mein exist karta hai and ye jo virtual platform hai this you may have heard uh, quite often in in the in, in the present time when we are uh, going through the uh, covid 19 pandemic and you see that many of things they are going on the virtual pl- platform they are organized on the virtual platform and see this uh, you know this uh, platform in which you and me at the present time in uh, we are interacting to each others we are also interacting on a, on a virtual mode aur yahi virtual mode cyber space hai we are connected by way of cyber we are connected by way of internet now comes the ingredients or the qualities of the cyber space and the first very unique very interesting qualities uh, of the cyber space is that it has the world wide audience aur world wide audience ka yahan pe kya matlab hai it means that the uh, audience in as as you see the audience in the physical mode if somebody is saying something suppose i am saying something in in a, uh, in a particular classroom now the the reach of the information which i am uh, giving that is limited to within the that particular classroom it cannot go beyond that classroom you talk about somebody uh, who is a paper boy i suppose and who is distributing the papers uh, within a certain sphere now his dissemination of information that is also limited in that area and uh, if you talk about on the other hand now the cyber space as i am saying that it has a worldwide audience so yahan pe jo audience hai wo worldwide hota hai now now when we talk about the dissemination of information on the internet on the cyber space it is just a matter of certain seconds that you post on something on the internet and the information it just travels like your imagination in the world aap jaise hi koi cheez internet pe post karoge aur jaise hi aapne post kiya you enters the information it goes beyond your control it goes beyond the you know beyond your imagination to the world and the us the supreme court of us it has defined the you know this uh, internet or the cyber you know very beautiful words it says that the internet enables an ordinary citizens to become per, become a pamphlet a town crier with the voice that resonate farther than it could from any soap box now this is the first quality of the cyber space coming to the next quality it means the wide ranging surveillance uh, now in the virtual mode in the cyber space the surveillance that to a greater extent it it goes much more uh, you know uh, beyond the sci- beyond the physical world online spaces you know that also makes the processing and transfer of data very uh, uh, easy 
and personal information in the cyberspace uh, is detailed, is computer processed. Uh, now, a very uh, uh, unique example of this is when you go to a mall in a physical uh, physical world. Now, suppose you physically go to a mall, you enter the shop, you enter the shop, you enter the shop, Suppose you buy a shirt from that mall and then after buying your shirt, you enters into another shop in that mall and you goes to an electronic um, shop where you see some, uh, some electronic gadgets, suppose smartphone up there, but not necessarily you buy that phone and you come to your home. Now take the, this example and apply this example in the virtual mode in the cyberspace. Now, if you enters into a mall, on in the online platform. Suppose you Flipkart pe agar kisi mall mein enter karte hain. Flipkart ke through aap kuch search karte hain. Aapne wohi waise hi shirt liya koi. Ya aapne koi smartphone jo hai wo aap search karte hain. Now you compare that in the physical mode when you enters into a into a shop. It is not necessary that if again you goes to that mall that person will recognize you. Wo aapko pehchane ga zaruri nahi hai. लेकिन जब आप इस चीज को कंपेयर करते हैं जब ऑनलाइन वर्ल्ड में साइबर स्पेस में आप एक चीज जो फ्लिपकार्ट पे सर्च करते हैं अगर आपने उस चीज को खरीदा भी नहीं है तब भी फ्लिपकार्ट विल सेंड दोस मैसेजेस और दोस आइटम्स टू यू अगेन एंड अगेन ऑन योर ऑन योर प्लेटफॉर्म ऑन द फ्लिपकार्ट ऑन योर अकाउंट उस इंफॉर्मेशन को आपको दिखाया जाता है कि आपने ये चीज सर्च किया था एंड आर यू इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर think again to buy that thing. So this is how the surveillance, it varies from the physical world to the uh, online world. Or is it surveillance in cyberspace mein, that is more, uh, you know, uh, that is, uh, you know, in a larger extent, it is applicable in the, uh, in the cyberspace as compared to the physical space. Then comes lack of territorial borders. Now, the cyberspace, it is, it is a space which do not have the boundaries, which is not confined within the boundaries or within the borders. As I have told you, uh, in the, when we were talking about the uh, you know, dissemination of information, worldwide audience. So, the uh, borders, the information, hai, when you post something on the internet, so it goes beyond the borders. जब आप एक चीज को नेट पे इंटरनेट पे पोस्ट करते हो तो इस इंफॉर्मेशन को जैसे ही आपने पोस्ट किया इट विल बी अवेलेबल टू अ पर्सन हु इज सिटिंग इन यूएस इट विल बी अवेलेबल टू अनदर पर्सन हु इज सिटिंग इन यूके और हु इज सिटिंग इन एनी अनदर कंट्री दैट इंफॉर्मेशन कैन बी सी कैन बी सीन बाय एनी पर्सन अराउंड द ग्लोब अराउंड द वर्ल्ड वाइल on the other hand uh, you, this दिस थिंग इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन द इन द फिजिकल वर्ल्ड it is a boundary, uh, it, it is a territory which is confined within the boundaries. For example, any web page is there, blogs are there, uh, blogs ke baare mein so, uh, sunte hai, Google blogs ke baare mein, koi blog jo hai wo uh, net pe post karta hai, Google pe post karta hai. So, us blog pe koi jab information koi ek country se dalta hai suppose ek blog ko india mein create kiya gaya hai aur koi india mein us blog pe information agar dalta hai to information bahut jaldi jo hai wo har jagah se usko avail kiya ja sakta hai dekha ja sakta hai then comes the limited uh, requirements needed and the economic efficiency so cyber world jo hai aapko uh, economic efficiency grant karta hai it, it, within a very limited uh, uh, kinds of things, uh, the uh, you know the things that is available to you, the world of internet is available to you within a very uh, nominal uh, economic resources. जो आपको चाहिए इंटरनेट को एक्सेस करने के लिए that is just a smartphone these days or a laptops uh, in your hands or a desktop with you. So if you are having these kinds of gadgets, you can, uh, you can have access to the internet. And then uh, after comes the difference between the cyberspace and the physical space. Now the cyberspace and uh, 
a physical space they are different from each other on certain points what are those points of different uh, differentiation that is first one is cyberspace it is a dynamic and undefined space now why we say it is a dynamic and undefined space because we say that it is a borderless territory jiska koi borders nahi hai and uh, the information that goes uh, beyond the borders uh, you know it is just a matter of seconds while on the other hand the physical space it is a static space with uh, which do not changes frequently जो चेंज नहीं होता है अक्सर जो है उतना ही वो स्पेस रहता है ये एक वेल डिफाइंड स्पेस होता है देन सेकेंड वन दैट साइबर स्पेस इट इज एज वास्ट एज द ह्यूमन इमेजिनेशन द रीजन बींग दैट देर इट इज नॉट कन्फाइंड विद इन द बाउंड्रीज इट इज जस्ट अ मैटर ऑफ यू मिनट्स फ्यू सेकेंड्स दैट द इंफॉर्मेशन कैन बी यू नो सेंड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर नॉट जस्ट द इंफॉर्मेशन any uh, you, you know kind of activities which is carried on with the help of the internet whether that is the information sending or receiving the information or the commercial activities is there you take any any kind of activities which is carried in the physical mode now compare the same activities in the online world in the cyber space and you will see that uh, it is much it is in a better manner it is accessible with the use of the internet or with the use of the cyber space so that's why we say ki cyber space jo hai wo it is uh, it is as vast as the, as the human imagination while on the other hand the physical space it is limited in terms of expansion uh, since it is a border uh, territory basically a territory which is limited within the borders so that's why we say that the limit limited expansion is there in the physical world lastly the cyber space it has no fixed shape iska koi fixed shape nahi hai it is a world it is a space which exist and which exist in the virtual mode now on the other hand if we talk about the physical space it has a fixed shape for example aap kisi room ki baat karte hain kisi building ki baat karte hain so that has the physical existence it has a fixed shape uska ek fixed shape hai it is confined within the walls within the it has certain doors suppose ek room hai uska door hai windows hain and the walled space hai so that is what the physical world means it is a well defined space uh, on the other hand uh, the virtual mode or the uh, or the cyber space it is not confined uh, within that you know, within that uh, borders so this is it this is the difference between the cyber space and the uh, physical space and the meaning and the qualities of the cyber space thank you